what is up he she's and they sorry i was gone for so long i just uh i i had to process what has been going on in the past two weeks and before i get into my rant let me explain why i look like a rat i didn't do my makeup for this video because i'm lazy so i thought while we talk about the monstrosity I, I, i'm saying it the monstrosity of the sims 4 kits i thought i could do my makeup with you guys now it's dark in here i cannot see shit so let's just hope it goes well shall we so i got my uh, uh fancy dancy primrose hill primrose hill i don't know what that is i got it from walmart i thought it was big enough for all of my makeup so i can cake my face so let's just hop into it you know what i have a also a fancy dancy schmancy uh mary oh my gosh can you guys see yourself oh. so for all you simmers who wear makeup i'm gonna start with covergirl outlast all day foundation which is absolutely crusty okay i haven't replaced this foundation in about a year and it's so empty i literally have to since I have been gone for, not gone, but I haven't posted a video for about uh, a week and a half, um, I posted a uh, my first ever community tab, which also 100 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. Literally, all I can say is thank you so much. Like, I had no freaking idea, but anyways. But I posted on the community tab what you guys wanted to see from me for my next video, and I got a comment saying um, that this person would like to hear how I feel about The Sims 4 K kids and just a fair warning to you guys i am not going to say anything positive about the sims 4 kids um so if you are easily triggered um i'm sorry i'm really not trying to be rude i really am not and before i go into anything else um if you have a different opinion than me i 100 fully respect that and i'm not necessarily angry at you or not even angry upset at you i am more so upset at ea for i don't want to get canceled for brainwashing some of the community into making them believe that kids are okay in essence which they're not and i mean i know a, a main argument with kids um against them which i do agree with is that a lot of these things could have came with other packs and i fully 100 percent agree with that you know when they first announced that they were like getting a new pack type or announcing a new pack type i i didn't want to believe it okay because so you know the sims 2 okay so i didn't play the sims 2 but from what i remember people saying the sims 2 had uh stuff packs and expansion packs i believe and the sims 3 had stuff packs and expansion packs and ea or the sims team or maxis whatever were able to make both of those games phenomenal i was an avid sims 3 player they were able to make those two games phenomenal with just two types of packs and so i actually didn't start playing the sims 4 until 2019 believe it or not so i didn't go through the initial shock of not having toddlers at the start of the game or not having pools at the start of the game like i cannot even fathom if i played the sims 4 then how i would feel about that so i feel like this whole sims 4 kit is like my equivalent of sims players who started in 2014 um to they're not having so much in the base game like toddlers and pools i'm using the neutrogena skin clearing mineral powder for my skin because uh, i had acne at one point and actually this stuff is really good if you have acne because it has salicylic acid in it so i mean definitely i mean Sorry, it's crusty. Are you gonna like focus? No, just a white circle. Okay, but anyways, I don't want to go on and on about how the kits are bad. Most of us in the Sims community knows that they are not good. And I'm not saying not good as in like their content, because for example, a lot of people liked um, the Bust the Dust kit uh, besides the constant bugs. And I'm not a builder, but a lot of builders really did enjoy um, the Country Kitchen, I think it was, the Country Kitchen pack. And I know a lot of people enjoyed um, the throwback fit kit i think a lot of people who are more into cast so it does really offer um i can see the potential in kits um where it does really offer a lot of different things for specific like types of sim player sims players which i which i really appreciate gotta find my eyebrow pencil because uh i i shaved off half of my eyebrow in seventh grade Send your location because 
Damn, Poppy, you were right there. And it's scary. And the motherfucker is scary. Keep on on, no. The thing about these kits is one, they are microtransactions. Or if you wouldn't consider them microtransactions right now, they could definitely be EA's way. And I read this somewhere and I totally agree with this. This could definitely be EA's way of testing the waters for The Sims 5 to see how if, if microtransactions will be a thing. Which if you don't know what microtransactions are, um, they're basically like, think about like games like, like Club Penguin or like Wizard 101 if you ever played games like that. Where you could technically play the game for free but you couldn't truly like advance or have um, more content than what you already have which is very small if you're playing the free version without having to purchase um some type of like microtransaction so it is highly highly possible for the sims 5 to uh, have microtransactions and stuff like this sort of like the sims 3 store um which i am a big fan of the sims 3 again but the sims 3 store was kind of expensive at times and like all the good clothing and furniture and stuff you would get from the sims 3 store and basically you would have to purchase like points or whatever to purchase something from the sims 3 store which we don't want that that's not ideal um in a simulation game like this so if you saw the title of this video it's basically why the sims 5 is not going to be as good as we may hope it will be and it's not just kits which i will get to that in a second but my last point i have for the sims 4 kits um well okay i have two things to say if you really want the sims 4 kits go for it have fun do what you gotta do if we want to let EA know that this is not what we want or the majority of the Sims community what we want, don't purchase it if you really don't need vacuuming or a new set of counters um, or a new set of 90s clothing, which you can easily, easily download CC from if you are on PC, which they are. This is pretty good for console players, but um, we do know that the majority of Sims players, I think, I don't know, I'll have to look that one up, are on PC. At least what I think. My second and final thing. Oh my gosh. I have never talked while doing eyeliner before. I am not. Oh my god. All right. Let me get the wing first. And then we will continue. Guys, this wing is not good. She is not good. I can't see anything. I literally cannot. I can't see anything. How do they look? Oh my god okay you know what it works it it works my second and final comment about the sims 4 packs not packs i could say packs but <laughs> just the sims 4 kits um is that you and i both know they are overpriced they are way too overpriced because we like to think that we're getting half of a stuff pack so that's why it's five dollars which it's five dollars in america in a whole bunch of different other countries it is so so expensive i mean i saw on twitter that like i think in canada it's like seven dollars and then like australia or someplace else it's literally like 10 10 us dollars i it's just absolutely heartbreaking that this is what the sims 4 has come to uh the, the sims team or ea knows it's bad um because it's it's already on sale for how much 10 percent 10 percent they they know they know it's not a big hit they absolutely know but they're gonna keep doing it because microtransaction it's a fast way to make money now like i said the video is about why we shouldn't be extremely hopeful about the sims 5 i can't even do my makeup now i am so sorry it's that the majority of the sims 4 players who grew up with previous sims games are being put on the literal back burner and new sims 4 players are the top priority right now which I love like having new players in a game that I love too. I have more people to talk about it. Of course, I would love new people to join the community, but the majority of the community does not need or desire gameplay because they didn't know what past Sims games were like, which were full and rich with gameplay. They just don't know and that's okay. That's that's not their fault. They're just playing a game that they saw and they were like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna buy this game. It looks cool. And they're having a blast and that's okay. But I feel like EA can do both. They can balance what the new players want and the old, more experienced players want that have played previous games. But no, they are neglecting such a huge part of their fan base. And so many people, I've seen it on Twitter, I've seen it on YouTube, I've seen it everywhere, are considering 
giving up The Sims 4 or not purchasing The Sims 5 once it arrives because The Sims 4 is too far gone. I'm not gonna use a bronzer today because my bronzer actually broke and it was a really good bronzer. It was like wet and wild, literally like $3 from the dollar store. But I am gonna be using this Maybelline Fit Me Blush right here in the color, in a color. It's pink. It's red. I don't know. It's a color. I can't find it. I can't find what the name is. But that is one reason that we shouldn't be, or at least veteran players who have played previous Sims games, shouldn't be extremely hopeful about The Sims 5 and what it will have to offer just because we are noticing that EA is- Okay, I can't- do Let me like- We are noticing that EA is prioritizing the newer players um, who think The Sims 4 is all fine and dandy. And the newer players bring in the most revenue for um, The Sims 4 because most of them purchase all the packs, which is okay. Um, but if we if we talk about packs like Journey to Batu, which I I honestly wanted to cry. Like uh Journey to Batu, that that came out when I started my YouTube channel just about. I made a build video about it, um, just because I, I was new and I was like, oh well everybody's making these new pack videos, I'll do one too. But in reality, I wanted to cry. I was not happy with that because I knew I knew that EA and Maxis could do better. We know they can do better. We've seen it. We've seen it. Another reason why we should not be too hopeful about The Sims 5, and I hate to be a pessimist, I really do, but a lot of people really, really are excited about it, even old, older Sims players, but I'm trying to like, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just seeing it for what it is. I, I'm taking, I'm basing my opinions on what I have seen from The Sims 4 for the past, what, like seven years? Let's talk about the laundry list that just came out from The Sims team over on Twitter. So if you don't know what the new laundry list is, um, basically The Sims team came out with kind of like a brand new way to um, connect with players and kind of get their feedback on bugs and stuff like that. And it's just them kind of telling us what they're doing and what they're fixing right now and just keeping us up to date with the game's progress and stuff. It is a good thing. That's a very good thing. And I'm glad they did it. But why seven years later? Why did it take seven years of constant complaining, constant bugs to get this? I still can't play Dine Out. I still cannot play Dine Out. My food takes too long. Okay. I literally had in one of my current households, I had a Sim just walk over to my Sims table and just grab their drink and start drinking it. Like, like my Sims did not pay for that. I'm using this Milani. Ah! I'm using this Milani highlighter. Um, I love it so much. As you can tell, I use drugstore because it's honestly the best. Like, also if my... <laughs> Y'all, I know my makeup is not popping right now. I know. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> the reason that uh, I bring this up is because if it took this long for EA to finally listen to us, which they haven't fully listened to us, we are still wanting so much more um, that we haven't got. And you know what? I don't think we ever, ever will get some of these things. Like, why did it take so much? Why did it take so much pressure to get bunk beds that could have easily came with tiny living or even like eco lifestyle just like how throwback throwback fit kit could have came with a uh, fitness stuff bust the dust with eco lifestyle if it took ea this long to listen to us imagine how long it's gonna take when the sims 5 rolls around and most of its player base is newer sims players who have not experienced older games and the the greatness that they were in my opinion it is very very unlikely they will ever listen to us again because they know that people purchase their packs whatever it is just because it's the brand new pack it's the brand new thing on the market they want something new they want something shiny obviously because the sims 4 lacks gameplay so they're gonna want the newest thing right when it like start like right when it debuts so this is why i am a huge advocate for paralyzed because straight from the beginning they were incredibly transparent with us um and they do like dev chats and like stuff on their patreon they have a discord like an official discord and stuff and i honestly don't mind if i'm overhyping paralyzed because the sims 4 is a monopoly and it doesn't deserve to be a monopoly and it needs competition and if the sims team or ea needs to recognize that there are competitors and we're not con we're not going to continue to play the sims 4 if they don't listen to us that's why i'm a big proponent of not buying the newest expansion pack until you fully understand what it's about what it has gameplay stuff like that i'm a big proponent okay i waited for so long um to buy snowy escape because i just trauma 
trauma. I really do encourage you guys to support Paralyzed. If you want to spend your money on a good game or a good cause, don't do it on Bust the Dust, okay? Please, just Paralyzed. I just am I simping for Paralyzed? Maybe, but that's because they've shown me and proved to me that they actually care about my opinions. I guess she's done with the makeup. I mean, it's not it's not the worst. I do look kind of crusty. I still have bags, okay? I didn't. I I don't use concealer. I need to start because my bags are, um hideous i think that's pretty much all for me if you have anything you want to say if you disagree with me like tell me in the comments tell me why you disagree with me like i really want to know what other people's opinions are about this because i know on twitter it's more the opinions are more leaned towards not being happy with ea or the sims team and i i don't really know a lot of people who are truly happy with a game and its progress and where it's headed so if you are please let me know because i am 100 willing to at least like see other perspectives i just i i love to see the good things and it's really tiring for um ea to be doing this constantly um not listening because i i, I know i feel and many other sims players feel 100 neglected but if you enjoy the video don't forget to leave it a like let me know if you like the makeup videos because i do because then i can film other videos after this as always don't forget to subscribe for more videos on the channel my name is ali i do um mainly gameplay tips uh and some commentary videos as well about the sims 4 and maybe paralives here and there all right i will catch you guys later bye